everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, uh, I'm going to help Iron Fist 90 make a show and erase picture event. So he says he wants to make an item that's going to show the picture, but so that the picture doesn't disappear right away. Uh, when you press the button, it shows a text, and then after the text comes up, it shows another thing of text, and then uh, after you press the button, after the second box, it's going to make the picture disappear. Uh, it would be really helpful if you could make a tutorial about this one. Thank you. Okay. So let's get to it. Really simple. You're going to make your clue item. Um, give it a name, description, icon, whatever. Make it item, key item, whatever you want. If you want them to be able to look at it one time and then it disappears, you go yes to consumable. If you want the player to be able to look at this item over and over and over, you can select no to consumable. Um, I would imagine you'd only want them to be able to use it on the menu screen instead of in battle. Um, it doesn't need any scope since it's just going to call a common event. So go to your effects under uh, effects here, go to the, the, the other tab, go to common event and uh, select an open common event. So it'll just be number whatever. We're going to make a common event called clue item. So you can leave that blank for now if you don't have your common event yet. Let's go to common events, make a new common event, change the maximum if you have to. We're going to do a show picture. So let's right click insert new. Uh, tab 2 at the very bottom where it says picture so select show picture select the picture you want the clue item to be select a number for it it doesn't really matter what number you give it as long as each picture has its own number so for the first item the, it's going to be number one clue item where you want it to be is going to be uh, centered or upper left it's up to you you can also do an offset um, then you're going to show text right underneath that. You're going to do wait 10 frames. Then you're going to do another show text, wait another 10 frames, and then erase picture. You can change the um, the background and position of the, the text depending on what kind of picture you have, wherever you want the, the picture to, to show up. You can, uh, obviously if it's like a thing that you're going to do on the top row, then you'd want to put the text on the bottom. You can change the wait to whatever number of frames you want. Remember 60 frames is one second. At the very end, you're going to do an erase picture. You're going to erase the picture number that we called at the top, picture number one. So on the items, you're going to call for that common event. Then you award your item however you want in game. I just did a simple uh, thing that says when they check uh, a, a cupboard, it says there's something there. So I'll show it to you in game. Let's investigate. We found a clue item. And then we go to the inventory, select our clue item. It's going to show the picture up here and it's, and it's going to give you your first text box. You press enter, it's going to show the second text box. If you press enter again, it's going to get rid of it. And uh, it's not consumable, so the player will be able to reference that picture over and over. So hopefully that video, uh, this video helps you. If you have any more special requests, leave them in the comments below. If uh, this didn't, if this wasn't exactly what you're looking for, let me know, and I'll try to, uh, with some more descriptive, uh, what what you're looking for, and I'll try to make another tutorial for you. But uh, hopefully, this was helpful. If you guys did like this video, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being awesome, and we will see you in the next tutorial.